the conclusion to the Danny Ryan trilogy that has kept people on the edges of their seats and turning pages. City in Ruins is available now wherever you get your books. The final book of the extraordinary career of the New York Times bestselling author, Don Winslow, who is back here on The Rich Eisen Show. It is good to see you again, Don. How are good you? Good to see you again. Thanks for having you me. Bad. Yeah, that's yeah. worthy of a round of applause. Yeah, I, right. I agree. Well, that's Thank kind you. of a golf clap golf right clap. there. Oh, there we man. go. Master's Week. It is Master's <laughs> Week. Good to see you. Um, so... Um, I, I we kind of touched on it the last time when you said City and Ruins is going to be the last one. Why? Why? Yeah. Why is this the last one? Uh, a couple of things. One, it's time. You know, this book took me thirty years to write. Did you say thirty? Thirty three okay. zero. Yeah, which makes me kind of a slacker. You know, right? Uh, but I was doing a few other things at the time, like twenty something other books. Mm -hmm. But when I was coming around the home stretch of this book and mm -hmm. knowing it was about to end in this trilogy, this thirty year thing was about to end. Yeah. I began to think, yeah, you know, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to try to sort of exit the stage gracefully mm -hmm. and, and make room for other people, younger people who are coming up, of whom there are a lot of talented folks. And then also uh, things that are happening in the country mm -hmm. uh, that I feel need a more immediate response than, than you can give in the form of narrative fiction. So when those two things came together, I kind of thought, yeah, yeah, maybe time to pull the pin. You're talking about the films that you're putting out there on social media? Is yeah, what you're saying? yeah. Putting together, talking about what's going on what's in our going country? What's going on, yeah. Right, so yeah. that's what you're... And, and so... Um, you mentioned give some younger authors a, a, a shot, if yeah. you will. It took a while for you to catch fire, right? Oh, like yeah. How, how yeah. long? Did that was a slow burning fire. Man. That was right. a lot of kindling. Right. Uh, you know, I was a overnight success in my 50s. Uh, and so, which is kind of a long night, Rich, <laughs> you know, kind of Arctic kind of night. So how long were you at it? Oh, a long time, man. I, I, um, I think my first book came out in 91 mm -hmm. and that took me three and a half years to write and was turned down by 15 publishers, including the one I'm with now. Which no kidding. I, I love to remind them of that. That's really fun, you know? <laughs> Uh, and, uh, but, you know, I was caught in that, that kind of publishing spin cycle for years where the publishers would say, well, we're not going to print a lot of books because you're not a best-selling author. They would legitimately say that to you. Literally say that. But then you try to point out, but I can't sell books you don't print. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And so you're in that cycle and it's very, very hard to break out of that. So what broke through for you, do you think? Uh, new agent, great agent, Shane Salerno. He and I are old buddies. I was his first client. He's a actually famous screenwriter. Mm -hmm. Wrote little movies like Armageddon and the sequels to Avatar, little indie films. I've heard. <laughs> and uh, I've heard of those films. You've heard of those films? Yes, yeah. indeed. Yeah, and so uh, we've been buddies for a while, and and we'd talk, and he'd give me advice and things, and and finally said, "Do you want to just do this? Why don't I rep you? You know?" And I went, "Yeah, okay. Why not?" Mm -hmm. If, you, you know, we've never had a contract. Ever. Ever. Mm -hmm. And I would call it a handshake deal, except I don't think we ever actually shook hands. So it was just, yeah. hey, do you want to do this? You're like, sure. Yeah, let's do it. And then so what do you do? Just get your book in front of other publishers that ordinarily you couldn't have? He something? went back to publishers and said, look, here's the deal. You either support this guy, print the books, or I go to a different publisher. And he went to filmmakers and who had been optioning my stuff for a long time and then never making the movies. Right. I felt like a farm that other people were harvesting and making more money than I was. Right. Right. And he went to them and said, no, no, no. You buy the movie. We make the movie within 18 months. That became a movie called Savages. Mm. Um, yeah. And at the same time, I did a book called The Cartel. Uh, the Cartel's about the Mexican drug cartels. And one day after the book came out, Chapo Guzman escaped from prison. People literally accuse my agent of arranging that escape. <laughs> That's, that means you have a good agent. Yeah, yeah. Can confirm yeah, just, that people think that he could actually break yeah. Chapo out. Digging the tunnels, you know. To, tr to try and support your sales. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My publisher literally accused him of that. So, so that's that's what turned it around, you know. Fascinating. Yeah. And so, did you see American Fiction? Did yeah. you see that? What, yeah. What did you think of that movie? Great stuff. Great stuff. Listen, I'd, I'd watch Jeffrey Wright read, you know, sure. as they say, read the, the phone, phone book. book. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Is it an 
accurate portrayal yeah. of a publishing community, yeah. would you say? Yeah, I would say so. Not that they'd buy a, a, a would, they'd, <laughs> they'd buy one of your books if you want to rename it just the F word or something like that. <laughs> that was I, a laugh out loud scene in the film. It was a laugh out loud scene. I've had my books renamed. Um, I did a book called Isle of Joy, mm -hmm. and the publisher didn't like that. So it's actually a famous last lyric of a famous Cole Porter tune, Manhattan. Mm -hmm. So it became A Winter Spy. But I said, well, it's not going to be A Winter Spy by Don Winslow. If you're going to change the name of the title, change my name with it. You know. And so what happened? I had a short stay at that publishing <laughs> company. Uh, but the, yeah, the book Everywhere in the World is, is called Isle of Joy by Don Winslow, except here in the United States, it's a winter spy by McDonald Lloyd. <laughs> and when people bring the book up, I don't know how to sign it. You know, do you want it with that name or my name? Or Where did, you, did you come up with McDonald Lloyd? I did, Lloyd? I did. Where does that come from? Uh, my dad's name was Donald. His dad's name was Lloyd. Mac in Gaelic means son of, so son of Donald Lloyd. Oh, very, oh, very, very, very good. Very clever, huh? I, I have, have done with words. Rich. I have the best-selling author. Don, yes, you do. Don Winslow here, or or McDonald Lloyd is here on the Rich Eisen show. Yeah. What a story that is! Unbelievable. Um, so, uh, what what did you did you ever ever think of writing anything to do with sports? Are you anything that you've ever Scene that you think would be a good sports novel or Listen, anything I'm like a, that? I'm a big sports guy. So okay. you know, big baseball guy, big ice hockey guy. Stanley Cups are coming the up. The Stanley Cup was sitting right there on this table two days Can ago. Can I touch it? Yes, you, <laughs> Thank you. Two days ago. Wow. Lord Stanley's Club. Oh, I'm impressed. Right man. here. I'm impressed. Yeah, I, I, yeah, and we had the keeper of the cup here. I, yeah. uh, we we wow. got him here for 40 minutes asking stories. Oh, I'll bet. I bet. I wish I were here. He told a story about the, the record of the youngest human to ever be placed in the bowl at the oh, top of the me. cup. Do you, want, do you want to get, you guess, how how, long, how young do you think the 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 life of, uh, um, uh, how, how young do you think this person was? Three days. Incorrect. 20 minutes. No. <laughs> yeah. No way. Well, that's hockey fans, man. They're crazy. You know, I used to. <laughs> they cut the cord, they swaddled the kid, oh, and they put God. it in the top of the cup. I used to go in Providence, Rhode Island to the Providence Reds. My dad would take me. Yeah. And it was the old stadium on North Main Street with not plexiglass, but chicken wire. And people used to reach through the chicken wire and grab opponents' jerseys. Mm. And I saw a Providence sports crowd boo Snow White one time. <laughs> <laughs> they were, Why would they boo Snow White, Don Winslow? They what? were pimping the ice capades between periods, right? <laughs> and so Snow White's out there skating around with, you know, sneezy and dopey and, you know. <laughs> And she fell down and, and broke her ankle. Get and out of here. As they're taking Snow White out on the stretcher, the crowd is booing her, right? It's like, you stink. Learn to skate, you know? <laughs> Come on. My hand to God, warm hearted crowd. I guess they were know? all full of grumpies, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, very, very hey now, good. Huh? Hey, Rich. Uh, ah. You're not the only one. Not the only right one here, here. Don Winslow. Excellent. Absolutely. I couldn't write a bestseller, very though. Good. I don't know about that. No, we'll I wrote a book, one book. It was based on the experience of launching NFL Network. Yeah. I loved it. I poured my yeah. heart and soul in it. I wrote it. Yeah. I wrote it. Wow. I spent time in my office. It took me a year plus. Yeah. And it was just a total. It would. It, it, yeah, it, sorry. Yeah, they yeah. didn't tell me to my face that they would print, print less books or anything right. like that. No, they told me to my face. I mean, yeah, I yeah. know, but it's yeah. it, you know, it's it, but it, to to this day, it's still a, a pride. Yeah, to sure. See it of right course. there on the on the shelf. It's an achievement. I've That's got a... I've got about fifty six cent copies around the corner for yeah. you to look at on no, the way good. out. No, I'll the take door. some with me. <laughs> I'm can... selling mine out of the back of my car <laughs> in the parking lot. If anyone wants a half price City of Ruins, just meet me in the in the lot after the show. I'm sure the they show. will. Yeah. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they absolutely will. Yeah. Uh, have you heard about what's going on with Otani here yeah. in town? With his... oh sure. That sounds like something that you would from your private investigation days, right? Like... Something I'd write. But do you think? I yeah. Mean, can you make this stuff up with what's going on with him? It's as hard to write fiction anymore, Rich. You know. <laughs> but but I mean, look if if someone rips you off for sixteen million dollars and you don't notice, life's good. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, if you go, yeah, 16 minutes of lunch money. You know, I, I used to work for a client when I was a PI, you mm -hmm. know, this old guy in the movie theater business in New York, and he'd say, Don, 
if they're stealing breakfast, let it go. If they're stealing dinner, you know, stop it. So I have a feeling the 16 mil is sort of breakfast money, you know, for Otani. Because it's like, oh, 16 million? Someone stole it from me? I don't know. I, I guess mean, breakfast wasn't expensive back I, then? I is guess that what it was? so. I don't know. You know, I just, just had it room service in L.A. It was pretty expensive. You're exactly right. You'd right. stop it. Yeah. Yeah. I, it just is just reading. I read the 37 page affidavit. Oh, you did? Yes. Because, wow. you know, I mean, I want to yeah, be a responsible be, sports guy. I'm try, plus, I've been asking a lot of these questions and yeah. Involving the story yeah. that um, that I've had yeah. uh, about, and I wanted answers, and I boy did I get it in this document wow. yeah. from uh, from it, it was an interview, this affidavit given by a, a lead investigator for oh. I never knew there was a criminal investigation unit for the IRS. It sounds like one of those oh, you, you one think? of those. One, yeah, I know, yeah. I, I, I know. I feel silly of saying that, yeah. but just seeing the words IRS CI, which sounds like a CBS dramatic it does. procedural, it does. Yeah. Uh, but the way it was laid out. I mean, they've got everything from IP addresses to device wow. IDs to texts to phone calls and ta and and they looked at 9,700 texts between Ooh. Otani and his interpreter in yeah. Japanese over a four-year period, and there's not a syllable from Otani talking about gambling or asking where the money is yeah. or asking who you know what he's right. laid the money on. Like Otani was completely yeah. Ob in the dark, oblivious, amazing. Amazing. Which is part of those things that I guess you can't even you make up, you know. You, you can't. But so, wouldn't wouldn't IRS CI make a really horrible TV series? <laughs> 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 does you know what I mean? Can you imagine the ad for it? I, I can't. You well, know, it's I guess IRS, CI, yeah. and some handsome guy and some hot woman, and you know, right, and going over numbers. Pocket it's the protector. It's the yeah. second week of Calculator. April yeah. on a big season yeah. finale yeah. Yeah. of IRS, yes. CI. Yeah. Following the Super Bowl tonight, the premiere of <laughs> IRS, CI. Do you want your premiere on April fifteenth or the finale on Great, April fifteenth? Great, Don. Good question. What do you think? You want the the premiere? Premiere. Premiere. Anyway. Premiere. Open on April 15th. Yeah. 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 You'd Absolutely. Have to, you'd have to demand it. You would. The, your agent would probably set it up that way. Set it up Christmas that way. Described it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Um, so uh, before I, I let you go, what is the, if you can, yeah. secret sauce to writing a best-selling work of fiction like you've been, you've been doing? There are two secret sauces, you know, one for the bestseller and one for the fiction. Okay. I don't know much about the secret sauce for best selling because that's a business thing, mm -hmm. you know. And fortunately, again, I have this great representation, so it's not something I think a lot about. Mm -hmm. In terms of writing the fiction, listen, it's a job I've wanted since I was a little kid, right? Mm -hmm. And so grateful to have it. Life finally gave that to me, you know. And so it's a matter of treating it with respect. It's a matter of suiting up and showing up. You know, I, I go to work at 5.30 every morning, and, you know, I stop writing at 5.30 in the afternoon. Are you at home or you have an office? I have an office about 100 yards from my house. I have an old gas station that we took over. And no kidding. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Uh, you know, heavy bag in there, hockey sticks and pucks that I can go out and shoot. Does that help you think? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, if I'm stuck on a paragraph or something, I might go shoot a few pucks against the wall and okay. think about it. You okay, know. that helps. Yeah, and, and imagine that I actually have some athletic talent, which, <laughs> which I don't. But really, you know, it, it's, it's just a matter of work, you know, and, and, and trying every day to do my best at it. I know it, as that comes out of my mouth, it sounds kind of smarmy, but, but that's the reality. But, I mean, you're, um, you must be drawing on your life's experiences, obviously, and uh, being a, a PI would yeah. have to. You must have seen so much in your time as a PI that you'd be able to come up with constructs, fictional constructs that are based, on, if you will, on, on some of your experiences. Yeah, I rarely, you know, use my experience directly because there's a reason they call it private investigator. Nice. And I, yes. I think that people would have a reasonable grudge, yes. you know, but, you know, I got to know the criminal world, the cops and lawyers and how things work and how you research something, how you investigate something. So the techniques that I would have used as an investigator are the same techniques I use researching a book. Yeah. I yeah. mean, if 
it would have been a much different show for Magnum if it was public investigation. <laughs> yes, right. Right. <laughs> right. Just yeah. wanted to yeah, figure yeah. that out. Okay. Absolutely, Rich. Don, uh, yeah. congratulations on everything. Yeah. And best of luck in what you're about to endeavor. Oh, thank as you, well, man. Sir. I appreciate that. You bet. Uh, at Don Winslow and at Don Winslow Films on the Hellscape of X and Instagram, the final book of the extraordinary career of Don Winslow, City in Ruins, is available now wherever you get your books. Great to see you. Great to see Let's you. Hopefully this is not the, the end uh, of, uh, of you showing up back here. I'd love it. Ask me back. Let's talk hockey. Let's. I'd love to talk sports films sometime. Ooh. Absolutely. Ooh. Let's do that. Right Which is your alley. favorite? Let's do it right now. Uh, Bull quick. Durham. I got time. Why is that? Just because of the stories? No climactic ending. One of the few sports sh movies that doesn't end, you know, ninth inning, two outs, two strikes, you know, or 20 mm -hmm. seconds left in a football game. This very naturalistic fading out. You know, and plus the script's just brilliant. The Ron Shelton script. Have you ever met Ron? I have not. I'd love oh, to. Oh, man. We can, I can, you can put work that, that thing. Out. I can. I've, I've, uh, I've been a couple of uh, fingers, uh, a drink deep with Ron. Is that uh, right? Shelton every now and then. All yes, right. sir. I'd love that. Big, that guy is just a, a, a hoot. He I'll is bet. awesome. He's I'll brilliant. Yeah. Um, Hoosiers is my favorite. Hoosiers. Yeah, I can see that. I just, I, I can see could, that. Well, I mean, for me, the sports movie that I, I, I love that the most, or I quote it yeah. the most. Yeah. I, I did it just the other day when talking about how, uh -huh. um, uh, you know, Bill Belichick, um, when, when Tom Brady was uh, just a, a young yeah. pup yeah. and he had a decision to make about sticking with Brady or going back to, <laughs> right. you know, going back to Drew Bledsoe yeah. and how there were some people who were questioning his thought yeah. process. Yeah. And I just remember the, the scene from Hoosiers where Gene Hackman, Coach Dale, has the his his I guess philosophy and his game plan in this leather satchel and just waved it at the hollering crowd. Yeah. And that's there's that. And there's, there's just that. there's uh hey, it doesn't matter how big the environment is, the the floor is still the, the same, same size, size. and same the rim size. is still the same yeah. distance to the floor. Great film. Don Rich's other favorite movie is Rudy. How do you feel? <laughs> it's not Rudy. He's just joking. I'm a Michigan Wolverine. I hope. Oh, okay. I, I'm a, so I just dis, dis, dislike Rudy and Notre like Dame so it. much. I'm I'm hoping there's an alternate ending where he just pops a quad. Now, see, I I went to college at the University of Nebraska. Okay. When they were national champions, mm -hmm. you know Tom Osborne and all of that. Sure. So, yeah. And my wife is a Nebraskan, and if if they're on TV, I get this tranquilizer gun. <laughs> It, it's, but you, you have to hit him pretty directly in the neck. <laughs> Nothing else will do. Nothing else. Yeah, this sweet woman, you know, sweet, kind, lovely woman just turns into this vicious beast. Transformative. You know, yeah, during the, the Nebraska games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I, he's just trying to. He's just trying he, to stir things he up. He is. Right he's here. stirring things up. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Rudy. Uh, oh God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh yeah. And yeah. then we had uh, um, David Onspaugh told us that uh, Rudy heard me. Um, question whether <laughs> yeah. he was truly carried off by a whole host of people, right. and he wants to fight me. Does he? <laughs> I'd, I'd do that. He wants to fight me, like legitimately like, knock me out. Like just, you. just for the movie alone, I think you should do that. I, I think I, for, maybe everyone should. Nice, yeah. Actually, he's slow clapping that idea. Very yeah. good. Uh, City and Ruins again, available now wherever you get your books. Don, great to see you, sir. Great to see you. Thanks we'll be for back to wrap me. up this show in a moment on the Rich Eisen Show. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.